I left Haiti when I was 18 to go to college in the U.S. with the dream of coming back at some point. Don and I moved to Fond du Blanc before we had children. And all of our three sons were born here. It's been over 30 years. Church planting, education, livestock production, water purification. In, in a way, I would say almost anything that has ever happened in this community, we have been at the, the source of it or a part of it over the last 33 years. You know, at the foundation of our ministry, we have what we call the three R's. Reconciliation is the number one. And the object is to reconcile men to God and to each other. Our presence here in the community is the second, which is relocation. You know, being in the community where you minister. The third R is redistribution. How do we empower people you know, to own their environment, their resources, and be able to produce enough you know, to take care of themselves, take care of their families, and take care of the community? So that's why we are focusing on agriculture. And today we have a farm that is using modern technologies all to increase production for the farmers you know, within the community. And we are very, very pleased that not only us, but the nation, you could almost say, is beginning you know, to catch on and seeing what we are doing as a model for replication elsewhere. The president of Haiti's uh, advanced people have come to visit, and it's a big potential that he will come. If you were in Fondebla 30 some years ago, and came back today, you possibly would not recognize it as that original place. And one area, again, is education. 30 years ago, you couldn't find a high school graduate in town. You know, our children needed school, there wasn't one. And most people in the community were also facing that same need. So we started that school for anyone from the community that wanted to come. A visitor recently referred to our secondary school as the Prairie School. And the students want to be there. The whole community you know, wants to be there. While the preschool is the original start of the school program, that cannot be said of its campus. Uh, the over 400 children are packed in an area where we should not have more than 100 and 150. So a new campus is what we envision. The design is already there and we are hoping within this coming year to start construction. So we have great vision for this campus and we hope we will find the necessary resources to bring it about. That is a huge hope of ours that most or all of our students can come back to this community and reinvest their lives into it and continue the development that's been started. When I think of our dream for Fondebla as a community, it's the community that would be a model you know, for the rest of Haiti. You know, in every aspect, anyone from anywhere could come to Fondebla and feel totally at home. Everything the Lord has allowed us to do here has been able to be done because of partners who have helped us along the way with their donations. 
If you share our same vision and are interested, we hope that you will visit our website, hcdf.org, hcdf.org.